Good afternoon and welcome to Sing Along Jim. My name is Miss Ashley. I'm a librarian with the San Mateo County Libraries. And today we're going to sing songs and read stories about clothes. So we'll have a lot of fun with that. Before we begin though, if you could take a look around your house to gather up some supplies. If you've been with me before, you may already have them ready. But if not, you just need some kind of a piece of cloth or it could even be a paper napkin or a paper towel a dish rag, a washcloth, a blanket, something you can throw up in the air, put on your head, uh, anything like that. That's for our scarf songs in just a little bit. And if you could also gather up something to make noise with. So it could be a pot lid and a spoon or some paper cups. Last week we made uh, these rain sticks, which are made out of um, Sorry, I'm spilling rice. <laughs> Made out of uh, aluminum foil and some um, paper, some uh, toilet paper rolls with rice inside. And then you can shake noise. Um, or you might even have some real instruments laying around like a kazoo. Kazoos are fun. Um, anything you can find to make noise with. So let's get started with our song, which is called We Bounce and We Bounce and We Stop. You got your listening ears on and your bouncy feet. Let's get started. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. Did you get the stop? We bounce, we bounce, we stop. Sometimes I like to trick you. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Good job. Let's do that again. I feel very bouncy today. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Good job. Let's do some wiggling. Can you wiggle your body? We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. Good job. Now we wiggled our body. Can you wiggle your fingers? I'm gonna wiggle mine on my ukulele. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. We wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we wiggle, we stop. And now this is gonna be tricky for me to show you. And you wiggle your toes. We wiggle our toes, we stop. We wiggle our toes, we stop. We wiggle our toes, we wiggle our toes, we wiggle our toes, we stop. And now let's wiggle our fingers in a different way. Let's tickle and tickle yourself. Or your grown up, or your brother, or your sister, if they'll let you. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we stop. Now let's tickle one more time. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we stop. We tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we tickle, we stop. And now let's hug yourself or your grown up or your brother or your sister if they'll let you or your stuffed animal. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we stop. We hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we hug, we stop. Now let's bounce one more time really high in the air. Are you ready? We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we stop. We bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we bounce, we stop. Good job. Well, I mentioned earlier that we're going to be doing songs and stories about clothes. So look down at what you're wearing today and we're going to sing a song called If Your Clothes Have Any Red. And we'll be, do different things depending on what color you're wearing today. If your clothes have any red, any red. If your clothes have any red, any red. If your clothes have any red, put your fingers on your head. Here we go. Tickle, tickle, tickle. If your clothes have any red, any red. What if your clothes, I did have a little bit of red on me, by the way. My daughter made me this bracelet that's got all the colors. And there's some red on there. Now let's sing If Your Clothes Have Any Blue. I have my blue SMCL shirt on. <laughs> if your clothes have any blue, any blue. If your clothes have any blue, any blue. If your clothes have any blue, then give a great big boop. Got it? Let's do it again. Boop. If your clothes have 
have any blue, any blue? What about if your clothes have any white? I've got white on my SMCL shirt too. If your clothes have any white, any white. If your clothes have any white, any white. If your clothes have any white, stamp the floor with all your might. Here we go. Stop. If your clothes have any white, any white. What about if your clothes have any black? I've got black socks on today. If your clothes have any, any black, any black. If your clothes have any black, any black. If your clothes have any black, hide your hands behind your back. If your clothes have any black, any black. All right, nice job. You can come up with other verses for that song, depending on what colors you're wearing or your family is wearing. I'm going to do uh, my first story, which is a, a book about a little girl whose shoes are nervous. Have you ever had nervous shoes? What would that look like, do you think? Have you ever been nervous when you have to go someplace new or try something you've never done before? Or be around people you don't know? So this story is called Lena's Shoes Are Nervous, A First Day of School Dilemma by Keith Calabresi and Juana Medina. It's published by Athenian Books. And this is from our ebook collection called Hoopla on sfcl.org. So when you're nervous, when you have to do something new, this little girl's gonna go to school for the first time. So you may not have been to school yet, but I bet you have done something before that is new and a little bit scary, and that's what's happening in this story. Today is a big day. Today, Lena starts kindergarten. Lena is very excited. Doesn't she look excited? See her cat stretching there. She has to pick out, she has picked out all her favorite clothes to wear. Her blue dress, her pink striped socks, and her headband with the bright green flower. There's just one problem. Lena's shoes are nervous. Can you hold your hands like their shoes and kind of shake them like they're nervous? She looks for her dad. Oh dear, her dad says, what should we do? Lena doesn't know. She certainly doesn't want to miss kindergarten, but she can't go without her favorite shoes. This is a serious problem. Should we try talking to them, her dad suggests. Lena frowns. I can't do that. Why not? Because they're shoes, Lena says. Oh, Lena's dad thinks for a moment. Lena thinks too. What about your other clothes, her dad asks. How are your socks feeling? Lena shrugs. You shrug your shoulders. The same as the shoes, as usual. How about your dress? Lena's dad asks. My dress is very outgoing. My dress can't wait for kindergarten. Well, Lena, maybe your dress can talk to your shoes. Lena makes a face. Oh, no, they don't get along. It's kind of a touchy subject. Lena and her dad scratch their heads. You scratch your head like you're thinking and look around her room. Then Lena remembers her headband. Her headband with the bright green flower. Of course, all her clothes like her headband. My headband is friends with everybody, Lena says. She could talk to my shoes. Excellent idea, Lena's dad says. Lena places her headband beside her shoes. She gives her dad a look. I'll just go wait in the kitchen, he says. The shoes are shy and a little embarrassed. Lena encourages them to use their words. People ever tell you to use your words? The shoes say that school is big and loud and different and they'd really rather not go. The headband is a good listener and understands. Then the headband reminds the shoes of other times they were all scared but decided to be brave together. So going to the doctor looks like, or uh, it looks like they're watching a movie that's a little scary, meeting a big dog, and all these things turned out well. How things have pretty much worked out okay, even better than okay sometimes. Look, she got a lollipop, and she had a great time watching the movie. 
And the dog was really friendly. Because often the best things happen when we're nervous. Lena is optimistic. That means she's hopeful that things are going to go really well. But the shoes aren't convinced yet, and it's almost time to leave. It seems Lena will have to go to kindergarten without her favorite shoes. Oh well, she says loudly so the shoes will hear. Looks like I'll have to wear my slippers. Slippers? She wouldn't. She couldn't. She... Her shoes confer urgently. And they decide to be brave. Yay! Lena is very proud of them. Lena and her dad walk to school for the first day of kindergarten. Lena's shoes get a little nervous again when they step onto the playground and they make her walk slower than usual. Can you walk very slowly? Like your feet are a little nervous. But not for long. Look at all these feet in different shoes. And there are her shoes. Looks like she had a great day at kindergarten. Well, that book had a lot of feelings in it. So let's do a song with different feelings. This one's If You're Happy and You Know It, which is a song you probably know, but we're going to add in some different feelings. Let's start with a being happy. If you're happy, you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But what if you're sad and you cry? <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, cry boo hoo. <laughs> if you're sad and you know it, cry boo hoo. <laughs> you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo hoo. <laughs> what if you're angry? You say, I'm mad, and you can even stomp your feet. Being able to say you're mad is a really good thing to be able to do. Let's try it. If you're angry and you know it, say, I'm mad. I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, say, I'm mad. I'm mad. If you're angry and you know it, you really want to show it. If you're angry and you know it, say, I'm mad. I'm mad. What if you're nervous and you hide your face? peek a -boo. If you're nervous and you know it, hide your face. <gasps> peek a -boo. If you're nervous and you know it, hide your face. Peek-a-boo. If you're nervous and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're nervous and you know it, hide your face. Peek-a-boo. How about if you're really happy, give you a shot hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shot hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shot hooray. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, shot hooray. Hooray! Yay! There we go. Stay. Let's get out our cloth for our first scarf song which is a song we've done before, but it works really well for this one because we're going to do the wishy-washy washerwoman who washes her clothes like this. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Got it? Here we go. Way down in the valley where nobody goes there. It's a wishy-washy washerwoman washing her clothes. She goes, ooh, ah. And that's how the wishy-washy washerwoman washes her clothes. Now she's going to dry her clothes like this. Can you blow on them? Way down in the valley where nobody goes there. So wishy-washy washerwoman drying her clothes. She goes. And that's how the wishy-washy washerwoman dries her clothes. Now she's going to fold her clothes like this. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Here we go. Way down in the valley where nobody goes there. So wishy-washy washerwoman folding her clothes. She goes, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And that's how the wishy-washy washerwoman folds her clothes. Now she's going to wear her clothes. Like this. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Way down in the valley where nobody goes there. So wishy washy washerwoman wearing her clothes. She goes, ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And that's how the wishy washy washerwoman wears her clothes. Yay! All right, let's do one more song with our scarves. This time we're going to wear our scarves on our heads like this. We're going to be ghosts. We're going to be a ghost. Yeah. Make sure you can still see. <laughs> we are 
scary ghosts floating down the streets, floating down the streets, floating down the streets. We are scary ghosts floating down the streets. We'll scare you. <gasps> Did I scare you? Let's try it again. We are scary ghosts floating down the street, floating down the street, floating down the street. We are scary ghosts floating down the street. We'll scare you. Okay, you can hang on to your cloth for our next book because it is all about a hat. And we're going to pretend our scarf is a hat. This one is called Whose Hat Is That? This is also from Hoopla. And let's see that polar bear there. He's wearing a hat. Isn't that silly? Have you ever seen a polar bear in a hat before? Certainly not in real life. This is by Anita Pagisterbosch and published by AB2 Books. Whose hat is that? Look, the wind blows a hat up in the air. Can you throw your scarf up in the air? Whoa! Whoosh! Can you make your scarf go whoosh round and round and round and round? Whoosh! There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? Look. It landed on a cat. Can you put it on your head like you're a cat wearing a hat? Meow. The cat mews. This hat is mine. It looks good on me. Whoosh! Here goes the hat again. Can you make your hat spin round and round and round and round? There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? What do you think this animal is here? Hmm. It's like some kind of feathers or a tail? Let's see. Oh, it's a rooster. Cock -a -doo -doo! The rooster crows. This hat is mine. It looks good on me. Put it back on your head and be a rooster. Cock -a -doo -doo! Whoosh! Here goes again. Spinning around and around. There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? Look what animal it landed on now. Put it on your head and be a Cow. The cow lows. This hat is mine. It looks good on me. Whoosh! Here it goes again. There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? What kind of animal do you think this is? It's a long, skinny animal. Whoa! The, the snake hisses. Can you put it on your head again? This hat is mine. It looks good on me. I think he looks very cute with that hat on, don't you? Whoosh! Here we go. Spin your scarf, your hat. There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? Look, it's landed on one, two, three little white mice. Peep, peep, peep. The little mice, mice squeak. This hat is ours. It looks good on us. Whoosh! Here's the hat again. There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? Can you spin it again? Looks like it's going to land on something big and white and furry. Grr, the polar bear growls. This hat is mine. It looks good on me. You put your hat back on your head and be a polar bear. Grr. Whoosh. Let's spin our hat again. There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? <gasps> Nay, the horse whinnies. This hat is mine. It looks good on me. Whoosh! Hmm, there goes the hat. Spin your scarf. Whose hat is that? What do you think this is? It looks like lots of colorful feathers. Ooh, what do you think that is? Phew! The peacock calls. This hat is mine. It looks good on me. Sure does. Can you put the hat back on your head? Your scarf? Whoosh! There goes the hat. Whose hat is that? What do you think this animal is? The dog barks. This hat is mine. It tastes very good. He's gonna eat the hat. 
Is that a good idea? Look, the dog gives the hat to a girl. Thank you, dear dog, the girl says. This hat is mine. You put it back on your head. It looks very good on me. Woof! And that is whose hat is that? <laughs> you can take your hat off now. It's time for our instrument play along. Before we do that, I'm going to show you a new instrument. This is a, a little instrument called a mouth harp or a jaw harp sometimes. It's just it's very simple, very small. It's made of metal. It's got this little twangy thing here. And what's interesting about this is that with my ukulele, it has a hole in it to make the sound louder. So the hole makes sounds louder, makes the string sound louder. With this instrument, you make it louder. See, if I pluck it right now, you can't even hear it very much. So I have to put it in my mouth and it makes a sound. It uses my mouth and my teeth to make a sound. So you want to hear it? That's a mouth harp. It's a fun instrument to play around with. So we're going to do a song now with lots of animal sounds in it, kind of like the book we just read. This is similar to a song I do called Fiddle I Fee. Uh, this version is called the Barnyard Song. It's the version that uh, Sam Hinton does, one of my favorite singers. So we're going to do lots of animal sounds. So get your instruments ready to play along. Here we go. does a cat make? Meow. Can you make your cat sound? Here we go. I had a cat. The cat pleased me and I fed my cat under yonder tree. The cat went meow. And the bird went. Now I have a dog. What sound does a dog make? Dogs can make lots of noises, but my dog Woofy goes woof. Can you do that? Here we go. I had a dog, and the dog was me, and I fed my dog in the yonder tree. And the dog went woof, woof, and the cat went meow, and the bird went And I have a frog. This is my frog, Orbit. He goes, Orbit, Orbit. There you go. Can you remember all the animals? I had a frog, and the frog was me, and I fed my frog in the yonder tree. And the dog went woof, woof, and the cat went meow, and the bird went And I have my friend Alice the alligator. She goes chomp, chomp. Can you do that? She's very friendly, aren't you, Alice? There we go. <laughs> Let's see if we can remember all the animal stuff. I had an alligator, and the alligator placed me, and I fed my alligator in a yonder tree. And the alligator went chomp, chomp, and the frog went ribbit, ribbit, and the dog went woof, woof, and the cat went meow, and the bird went And that's the barnyard song. It's an old song. There are lots of different versions that you can find. But before we leave, I want to leave you with a little project you can do at home. And this is kind of, a, this one fits perfectly with our theme about clothes, because if you have old socks lying around, we have lots of them, because somehow one sock always goes missing, you can make a sock puppet. So this is an old sock. And I just made, I glued buttons on for the eyes, and I glued this yarn on to be hair. 
So if you have things lying around your house, like buttons or wiggly eyes, you can use that. If not, you can just draw the face on your sock. I'm going to try to do that for you really quickly so you can get an idea. This is one of my daughter's socks, so it's pretty small. She's actually outgrown it. So you're going to stick the end of the sock in like a little mouth. And then you can draw the eyes on. And you could draw the hair if you want to. <laughs> Looks like he's eating this marker lid, doesn't he? Um, and we could cut some yarn and glue it on his head. You could do one piece of yarn at a time if you want. Whatever color you have lying around or string. All right, use your imagination to put around for things that you might be able to use. Even things like aluminum foil would be fun. I have some aluminum foil right here that I could use to make a funny hat or a scarf for my little puppet here. So you can make your puppet however you like. It would be a really fun project. You could even share it with us um, on social media. You could tag us at, or have, you could have your grown up help you post a picture on Facebook or Instagram with the, by tagging us at SMC Libraries with the hashtag SMCLCreates and we'll get to see it and we all share some of those pictures in a future story time. All right, that's all the time we have. So let's get our instruments up one more time for our play along song, which is Freight Train by Elizabeth Cotton and the version we do is by Elizabeth Mitchell. Here we go, ready? Freight Train, Freight Train, run so fast. Freight Train, Freight Train. has signed up for our summer learners challenge. It's open to anyone of all ages up to age 18. And you just go to summerlearners.org and sign up. It's free, it's easy, and you have a chance to win $1,000 for college. So I hope you will all check it out at summerlearners.org. In the meantime, I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a wonderful day.